It's Saturday, February 11, 2023, at about 1.45 in the afternoon. I'm Todd Dunn, and right now I am on the beach in Bass Harbor just to talk a little bit about what's going on this month. I'm going to step over out of the wind a little and uh, change the view so you can look out over the harbor. Okay, I'm not completely out of the wind, but partially out of the wind. There's the harbor. I can't go down very far on the beach because it is high tide right now. And you can see some lobster boats that stay in all year here in Bass Harbor. So anyway, what I wanted to talk about is what's going on this month. Well, so far this month, I've had a bunch of medical appointments uh, for a couple of things. The big one is that I am, as you know, scheduled for total knee replacement on the 28th of February. So I've been in for a bunch of pre-surgical tests to convince the doctors that I'll survive the surgery, which well, I certainly hope <laughs> I do. And uh, that's involved, you know, electrocardiograms, blood tests, and various visits with doctors. And I also had a colonoscopy, which, uh, you know, <laughs> you know what that means. And uh, the next week I go in for my pre-surgical visit with my orthopedic surgeon. Uh, I presume he's going to talk to me about the details of the surgery. And uh, after that, I have an appointment with a urologist. Uh, because I had a high PSA test and I'll have another PSA test on the 21st and then the urologist appointment on the 23rd and assuming the PSA hasn't really changed in the last month and a half then uh, basically uh, we'll just let that go I hope <laughs> and at any rate nothing is going to happen for the next couple of months because uh, the knee surgery is going to kind of preempt the situation with doing anything about uh, prostate issues. So I'm sorry about the wind. It is picking up a little bit out here. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can see. We look over toward the western hills here on Mount Desert Island. I'm going to move to a different spot. Right now I'm standing in front of the seafood catch, which is the only place you can get down onto the beach here uh, in Bass Harbor. So we're gonna go out by the ferry dock. I think I might be able to get out of the wind a little bit more out there. And we can talk a little bit out there. Okay, I've moved over to the ferry dock. You can see it over there. Uh, I was still straight into the wind, so I decided to shoot from inside the truck out through the windshield. That's Lopus Point on the other side of Bass Harbor. And then you can see out into Blue Hill Bay and Swans Island in the near distance. And there's a slightly hazier bit of land behind it, which is Isle Aho. So, uh, yeah, so basically the 28th of February, uh, unless something changes when I see the uh, orthopedic surgeon on the 16th, is when I go in for my surgery. And right now I'm scheduled to stay in the hospital overnight. And hopefully that'll be it. I'll come home the next day. The only issue is going to be whether or not I can navigate stairs uh, because of the way our house is set up, I have to go up a flight of stairs to get to the main part of the house. Uh, and uh, basically, they'll probably keep me in the hospital because of that until I can navigate stairs. I don't think our stairs are going to be much of a problem because we have you know, railings on both sides, and they're not very wide. Railings are good and strong, and uh, they can easily uh, provide me with all the support that I need. I just might have to take a while going up the stairs. So anyway, that's uh, 
what's going to happen, I hope. And uh, we'll see what happens with the surgery. Now, I will uh, post about uh, the knee surgery and the uh, recovery starting uh, hopefully the day of the surgery. I'm going to take my phone with me and I'll probably uh, do some uh, recording after I get out of the surgery and uh, to give me my stuff back so that I can uh, have access to my phone and I'll film with that. So that's uh, what's coming up and starting. I don't know if I'll be able to upload my videos from my phone or not. Uh, so you might not see any videos about the knee surgery and the initial recovery until March 1st. So, and I haven't been getting out much lately because right now the knee is really quite painful. I did go for a one mile walk yesterday and uh, had a tough time sleeping last night because my knee hurt a lot. <laughs> but I'm trying to get out and walk as much as I can before the surgery. I'm also doing a bunch of different exercises to strengthen my leg to, uh, you know, hopefully uh, make the recovery as quick as possible. At least that's some of the stuff I've read suggests that if you uh, have a good range of motion on your leg prior to the surgery and good muscle strength in the in the leg, you shouldn't have too much trouble with the recovery and will ultimately have a better result. At least that's what I'm hoping happens. So... Uh, that's uh, what's up right now. Turn the camera around here as I end this little video. It's just a short video to let you know what's going on. I apologize for not posting many other videos, but as I said, I've either been going to the doctor or Wednesday I spent most of the day in the hospital uh, for the colonoscopy. Uh, partly because I got there and got all checked in and they had me ready with an IV in and everything. And then the surgeon got called away to, for an emergency and didn't come back for quite a while, which meant that I got to lie there for three hours before they got to me. Anyway, so I, you know, I haven't been available to do a lot of videos and my mobility is dramatically reduced right now uh, because of my wonky knee. So anyway, that's where we are. That's what uh, is coming up for me in the next two and a half weeks. And I hope I can provide uh, some useful information about the recovery from a total knee replacement. I will be... Uh, posting videos daily about my recovery and I'll talk about all aspects of it. You know, the little details like what happens when I need to get out of a chair or go up a flight of stairs. You know, how's that going to work? And sleeping. These are all issues that people find difficult uh, after knee surgery. So, you know, we'll talk about it and hopefully I can produce some videos that will be useful for future total knee replacement patients. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button.